Now, policyholders of collapsed insurance firms in Kenya will now get a maximum compensation of $2,500 following legal changes announced by the Policyholder Compensation Fund. The PCF used to pay anywhere between $1,000 and $1,500 in the event that an insurance company is declared insolvent. But an actuarial study actually showed the fund could pay more. The insurance sector has welcomed the raise and the move is seen as contributing to the stability of the industry as a whole. On to Rwanda now, the Interlink Transport Company, it's a public-private venture in public transport, is set to launch its operations on upcountry routes. Now, the company is investing $13 million in the venture. The first batch of 20 buses have arrived in Rwanda. 30 more are still in transit. Ritco was set up following the liquidation of the public transport company on a track on last year. South Africa's third biggest mobile operator, Cell C, has been downgraded by S&P Global Ratings after missing interest payments. The company's $400 million worth of senior secured bonds has been uh, rated D for default rating from, trip, from double C, following its failure to pay lenders by the due date. Cell C is currently in the process of reducing its debt by selling shares to Blue Label Telecoms. And finally, the aviation geeks will love this one. Qatar Airways has claimed a new record for the longest commercial flight in the world, linking Auckland to New Zealand to its hub in Doha. Now, the flights took 17 hours and 30 minutes. Uh, they used a Boeing 777 on that particular one, probably an ER, and it covers 14,530 kilometers. Now, the previous record was held by a fellow Gulf carrier, Emirates, which launched direct flights to Auckland from Dubai in March last year. Qatar Airways CEO Akbar al Bakr says that uh, he travelled on board the inaugural flight. He said the new Auckland service is an important milestone in the carrier's expansion. That's a wrap of your company news.